Just a little update on my cube mapping generator. Uh, I find I, the generator is completely done, uh, but I'm gonna wait until I can release um, this package, which basically has dynamic cube mapping. Um, so when I move across the level, you can see the cube map changes based on the position. Um, everything is dynamic, so if if I was to move this door prefab down there, it would swap cube maps with the one down here, just like so. And one problem I noticed with Unity is that it likes to render the cube maps uh, flipped. Um, so I had to write my own shader so I have full control over the X, Y, and Z uh, flip of the cube map, which I'll demonstrate right now. It's kind of odd, but this is the only way that I could find around it other than going into Photoshop and mirroring your images and then rotating the top and bottom to match and that's too much work. So I made a shader which does it for me or you can control it yourself. Um, let this load up and then I'll show you that. So let's take a look at our cube map right here. And as you can see the barrels and the drywall stack are right over there. So it's reflecting properly. Now, if I grab this uh, sphere with my cube map applied to it, it, this is my shader here, and I have left and right flip and vertical flip and a front and back flip. Now, uh, Unity likes to flip the V if I plug... See, that's that's one of the, the issues that I was having is that my cube map was upside down, and that's not good. Um, so with this, I can s move the slider and take it back to where it needs to be but more importantly was the left and right flip. Uh, this is default, however the front and back of the cube map are always flipped in Unity and as you can see that doesn't reflect properly, it's it's like it's backwards, right? So I had to implement my front and back flip and so you can view the door from there, etc. So anyways, this is um, three cube map places as you've seen in the demo video whenever you move from point to point or near a point it picks the uh, closest one and then swaps it out inside the material and that's basically how that works so uh, I haven't released this yet because I've been kinda busy uh, but hopefully I can get it out pretty soon